Charles McAllister. I'm the author of uh, The Point of Pittsburgh, uh, Production and Struggle at the Forks of the Ohio. Charlie, what compelled you to write this book? Well, I, I taught Pittsburgh history for probably a decade at IUP, but I'd been collecting uh, Pittsburgh history for probably 30 years, and I just really felt that the whole story of uh, the working class, but, uh, but of the great uh, uh, capitalist producers, too, had not been told with the kind of dimension and context that was really needed. It really needed the kind of the sweat and blood stories, but also over the years teaching, I just discovered all these incredible Pittsburgh characters. And so the book is full of uh, the, the yarns and the stories uh, of, the, of, of, of all the people of Pittsburgh, but uh, I think it, it, it stands, and there, there was no, since the 20s, there's been no one volume kind of comprehensive attempt to tell the story and uh, I just felt it really needed being done. And the problem always has been is how do you bridge the French and Indian War and the industrial side? And for years I lectured on the French and Indian War all over western Pennsylvania with the Pennsylvania Humanities Council and of course the industrial was my base so I was able to bridge those two stories which I think has been the problem for a single volume history of Pittsburgh all along. Who did you write the book for? Really, I think fundamentally, uh, well, I always say for the old people and the young people. I mean, uh, it really was done very much for the young people in mind. The bibliography is broken down by chapters so that if a person's interested in the geology, they can get the writing on that. If they're interested in Native Americans, they can go to that chapter. Uh, I, I really wanted it that way so teachers and students would be helped to go further because there's a lot more we need to know but also the memories, I mean, of the elders. And that's really what I'm working on now is the story from 1960 on because one of the big problems with Clark Thomas and Bill Saren and other folks I would talk about, where the hell are you going to end this thing? And it finally came to me maybe halfway through that the perfect ending was 1960, Bill Mazeroski's home run because that marked kind of the apogee of Pittsburgh. It was declining somewhat in population, certainly had some concerns about its industrial future, but still it was was the heart of the matter. It was the, the, the backbone of America, and it was prosperous. Real wages had doubled in, since the end of World War II. The GI Bill and the uh, union wages had changed the complexion of the city. It opened up uh, incredible possibilities for the working class and the immigrant population. So it was a, a story that I, I came to some sort of a culmination there, and then after that it becomes a kind of a different story. Charlie, thanks so much for being with us. Good luck with the book. Hey, thank you very much. I so much appreciate the Heinz History Center, the wonderful ar archives, and the terrific staff that really helps on every level. I really I mean that very sincerely. Thanks, Charlie. Okay.